everyone welcome back to my youtube it's your girl honey today we are talking about cancer moons we are almost through with the moon series now so i'm looking forward to starting my new series which will be i don't know yet pluto venus has started mars has started but anyway we'll see how it goes okay so what can i tell you about your moon your moon is your emotions it's the dark side to you your personality not everyone's going to see or know you for your moon sign because you don't express your moon sign to everybody however when it comes to cancer moon cancer is in its home place here so it's it's the most expressive place you know to be so people actually might know you for your moon sign a little bit more than your sun perhaps okay now, with that being said, your moon also represents the kind of mother you um, you have, where you came from, how you was raised. And um, having it in Cancer, it's, it's, it's in its home place. Cancer is the fourth house um, ruler, male chart. Um, the fourth house represents your home, your mother, your stability, your, your environment. Okay? So, what can I tell you about having a Cancer moon? Cancer is cardinal. Um, along with Aries, Libra, Capricorn, these are the initiators, okay? So, um, someone with a Cancer Moon, the kind of mother they would have would be someone who was, who's someone's mother who's probably a Cancer, possibly even a heavy fourth, possibly she would have had a heavy fourth house or, you know, something that would represent, um, Cancer kind of tendencies because you're a Cancer Moon, okay? So with that being said, the kind of parent that you would have had, the kind of mother, she would have been someone who was very supportive, um, very emotional, very in tune with her emotions. Um, she would have, she would definitely be someone who was, depending on the relationship with um, your dad or her partner, whoever she's with, she may have been someone who would, who would stay home. Her main priorities would always be the kids. You know, I'm doing this for the kids. So she would definitely, she would put the kids first in every decision that she makes. She would just be a very soft, gentle kind of woman. And she would probably have a few mood swings here or there. Now, as the moon is, um, is ruled by a cancer, it's in its home place here. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I notice this a lot with cancers right now. A full moon is coming in a few days, and already um, I've noticed a lot of cancers are coming or uh, contacting me, messaging me, calling me about um, emotional situations that they're, that they're feeling. And a lot of the time when it comes to cancer moons, they are governed by the moon. So, whenever there's a full moon or changing moon, whatever... They get in their feelings, they get moody, they get upset, they get emotional and um, I'm a Capricorn moon, I'm their opposite so it's kind of difficult for me to deal with it but I find that they're, although they're opposites I'm able to work with them because they help me to express but I help them to be a bit more logical because because the moon's in Cancer, they tend to think more based on their emotions over logic. I find people that do have Cancer moons, and this is probably more so the males that have Cancer moons, um, because your moon is um, in a feminine sign and it's, it's at home here, it's, it's in Cancer, it's all about expressing. Sometimes you can subconsciously take on a lot of energy from your mother because i'm not saying people are gay or whatever i'm just saying um some people might be but i'm just saying that um this particular person could take on a lot of the characteristics in a sense where how they they express can be a little bit feminine rather than in a masculine type of way so with that being said their mother their relationship with their mother would have been very very close you know these kind of people want when they're dating they would love for their partner to be around their mum all of the time and it can def depending on what's aspected to your moon also it can definitely affect your relationships with other women because you're not able to prioritize um your mother's time and your girlfriend's time properly there's just this emotional tie to the mother and it's just because cancer rules the moon, the moon is the mother, this is just how it is naturally. 
and it also depends on what's happening with um where your moon is placed um depending on where it is you may you may not have had your mother around and the funny thing is sometimes you may not have her around she may have been on drugs she may have suffered and i forgot to mention some in some cases depending on what's aspected to your moon your mum may have suffered with some type of mental um illnesses as well because there's going to be the emotional um imbalance sometimes not being which would create like chronic like mood swings like just like um bipolar behavior one minute you're in this happy ass mood next minute you're down you know it, it, it can definitely it can definitely create some type of imbalance like that but like i said if your if your mum's not around you could definitely be somebody who seeks um a mothering type of role as a girlfriend you know um you might start to substitute your mum for a girlfriend someone who would take care of your emotional needs which is what a mum does right she takes care of your emotional needs you want a girlfriend who could do exactly the same as what your mum was doing and what i've noticed also depending on what is aspected please bear that in mind okay depending on what's aspected you know those relationships that you see like a weird relationship between like mother and son and you think wow like are they are they together like that's a bit weird a lot of the time um cancer moon sun can be seen as having a um can be seen from the outside looking in like something's not right but to a cancer moon person and his mother that can be that's just them it's just normal you know that's just how this is how we do things and and a relationship like that between um a moon cancer and his mother can be very off-putting for a woman trying to to come in to date him when it comes to the females that have cancer moon i find that it kind of works a little bit better it works a little bit better because they're gonna cancer moon woman is going to want to be that mothering figure that that wife you know that i want to take care of my husband my family be a home a housewife depending on her other aspects as well you know but her relationship with her mother would be and i'd probably say more so if it's like a gemini sun libra sun um female but she would definitely talk to her mother you know a lot about her relationships with her partners um because she respects her mother's opinions and she's gonna have a very close relationship with her mum but on a different scale compared to um a cancer moon. now growing up these people would have had a ridiculous amount of love from their mother hence why they do tend to feel um this close attachment to their mothers you know what's so funny right my friend who's a cancer moon she called me a few weeks ago and she was in her step she was crying cancer moons is um notorious for always crying anyway because they, they get the mood swings they're happy today sad tomorrow can't control their emotions whatever yeah your, your emotions are not controlled in cancer okay because it's at home here and it's all about expressing so especially if you are a cancer rising you know on your face you can't hide how you feel you cannot hide how you feel typical cancer moon uh, cancer rising you cannot hide how you feel so anyway my friend called me and i was literally like making videos um and she called me and i answered i was like hi i said oh, honey oh i'm like god what happened i'm thinking something serious has happened something's not right so she's like i'm so upset so the guy that she's seeing um he's staying with her at the moment i think he's come from a different country and he's just staying with her uh, temporarily before he goes back right so anyway she went out and she bought him um some fish right and um she's caribbean so the fish is like a, it's the whole fish that's just been diced and uh, not diced sorry it's been sliced and um we tend to fry our fish so what he's done is he's fried the fish and all of it and he's eaten all, all of the fish and just left the head of the fish for her to eat and she called me crying because she was upset that he ate the whole fish and just left her the head and that's the bit that she doesn't even eat and i'm on the phone like really you're really upset about this 
but I'm thinking oh wait she's a cancer moon this is why now I understand don't play with a cancer moon's food just just don't don't do it but the reason why she was so upset is because her being a cancer moon um she made the living situation for him very comfortable you know she's buying food she's taking care of him making sure that he's very comfortable in the house these people make exceptional hosts especially in the house now what i've noticed is you know when you have like a libra sun right and you're a cancer moon libra sun people they need to be out they need to be doing things with different people they need to be socializing as social butterflies but the ideal thing for these for this combination this type of person is to host an event a dinner party you know in your home they love being in the house they make the home very comfortable for anyone coming around um they just make they're very good at hospitality and that's what i love about cancer moons they just make you feel really really good in their home because these people um they're water they're gonna feel things very very deeply your moon is your emotions when you have malefic planets nearby this can definitely contribute to like i said earlier about your mum having mental illnesses it can contribute to oh if pluto if saturn is conjunct your moon here it it can lead to chronic depression very you know those people that are just always so deep in their emotions you never know why this would this would definitely answer your question chronic depression for saturn conjunct the moon here even squaring the moon definitely bring depression and also when you have your pluto ah oh, in aspect to your cancer moon oh my god i'm just sitting there thinking i just feel it for these people in particular it will bring some type of jealousy um obsessive nature when it comes to breaking up in relationships so when it comes to cancer moons and you break up you know with your boyfriend your girlfriend or whatever when you have pluto aspected to your moon there's going to be some some talk some sort of like okay i want to know what they're doing i'm going to make it a really hard time for that person to move on now you know when you have pluto aspected to your moon it just gives it a more of like i don't want to say nasty but it just brings like a sting effect because it's Scorpio, isn't it? Pluto is Scorpio. So it definitely brings like, okay, you ain't going to walk away from me so easy now. Okay, I'm going to make your life hell. I'm going to make sure that you feel how I feel. Okay, because you're moved in water, you feel it deeply, but you've got, you've got Pluto aspected to your flipping moon. Like, it's going to be even worse. Now, with the Mars. Now, Mars aspects. Mars conjunct the moon in Cancer. A lot of people always say Cancer is very, very passive. It's very this and it's very that. Listen, don't play with Cancer with Cancer Mars. Yeah, Cancer Mars is very, very aggressive. Um, I would always, uh, I tend to side eye Cancer Mars males because. Mars is not happy being in Cancer and when it's conjunct to the moon as well. It definitely makes your emotions, um, particularly in relationships, you guys um, need to learn how to not smash things up, not be so mentally, um, physically abusive as well. Um, when, when your Cancer is in Mars, you're just not able to to control your physical emotions like mars is in detriment in cancer that's the reason why and it's it's just not happy being there and when it's conjunct your moon and you know it's, it's in cancer it just creates a, a domino effect it's now because cancer is a water sign and it's in the moon these people are very romantic they have a sweetness to them um and because they are more emotionally involved more than logically involved they tend to end up falling for the wrong people because their emotions is what governs them your emotions govern you right so you meet people all the time you know you're very um committal as well but 
you always fall for the wrong people because it's your emotions it's based on how you feel and you tend to carry this anxiety with you as well which is um your anxiety which is i wonder if he likes me as much as i like him you know that is a fear that someone does not like you like you like them also i find with cancer moon people they tend to be people that always want to have kids like um because their purpose is to nurture cancer energy is nurturing so i met this guy actually i met him like over a year ago and he's an aquarius sun um and his moon's in capricorn i have no idea what aspects he has but he's got a lot going on with his son which i, I cannot bear right i don't know if it's because um i did sinistry on our charts i'm just not nah i'm not feeling it right but He's a, he's a cancer son and he's been asking me to have a child with him for how long? I'm not going to have a child, okay, right now. I'm not ready. I'm not the most maternal creature, all right? But, you know, he's someone who um, wants to have a child. And when you ask, he just wants to, he's, he wants to love another, another human, you know? So I find um, cancer people always seem to want to have children because they just want to nurture that's all they want to do is nurture lastly depending on what is aspected to the moon and also what's in their 12th house um even the eight they can definitely be people that have like some sort of psychic abilities that allows them to to dream or to, to feel, they, they feel things, they're very intuitive people, so they tend to feel things a lot, and they are, like I said, they are governed by that moon, so whenever there's a full moon happening, they get very intuitive, and they pick up on energies, and you know, certain things may feel, may not feel right to them anymore, but you always, cancers, you always need to listen to your instinct, if you ain't happy about it, investigate. You feel like your girlfriend's cheating, your man is cheating, you had a dream, she was cheating on you, investigate it. Don't just sit there thinking, investigate it, okay? Don't be worrying, having anxiety. I keep saying, investigate it, all right? So, that is my video on Cancer Moons. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, people. Have a nice day.